Once again, we have VTuber drama, and this is in the way of art theft. I first came across this because I saw this tweet from Meriwether. So here's a tweet from Meriwether, quote retweeting this, and Meriwether says, yeah, that's not yours. And that's in reference to this model reveal. I'm blanking on the term now, but you know, it's where like the rigor would use the model and then show its expressions, show its movement, etc. A live 2D showcase. If you guys don't know who Meriwether is, by the way, Meriwether is a really, really huge webtoon creator now turned VTuber, and Hi, they also own an agent Agency. So they're doing a lot of things, which I love for them. But this model that this artist Ezzy is showing is not their model. And Ezzy is saying, finally, my 2D model is freed from my drawing tablet, here to take over the internet. Open for commissions, let's collaborate. This is Meriwether, by the way. This is Meriwether's Dark Prince model. It is not Meriwether's main model, but it is one of their alternate models. Out of all the people to steal from, why did you pick somebody that is this big with this many accomplishments that so many people know? Theft should not be done in general, but this is just stupid from the thief's point of view. That's like me yoinking Iron Mouse's live 2D showcase and being like, mm, yeah, I rigged Iron Mouse's model. Obviously, I did not. I am literally using the largest VTuber possible as my example. And obviously, people are going to call me out. So, of course, Mayweather called them out. But if we go to their page, as a charm, comms open, Esmeralda 2D. I'm a live 2D VTuber artist with nothing else in their bio. No links, no card. A card is just a website. And typically, artists will have a card that will show kind of their portfolio, their prices, etc. So they don't like have links to other works. They don't have basically anything in their bio that credible artists keep in there, which is already a red flag. Pin tweet. Hello, everyone. Excited to announce that I'm now open for commissions, offering live 2D models and PNG tuber commissions. Drop me a DM to get started and the first three clients will receive special discounts. Let's create something amazing together. I'm curious, Ezzy. Let's see your art. Let's see your rigs. Hum, who is this? The future of animation is here. This live 2D model is ready to break boundaries. What in the chat GPT is this? Commissions for stunning live 2D models are open. Look at this male model. Look at their rigs, their toggles. Looks beautiful. Who could that be? Hmm, this looks very similar to the model you're showcasing. It's Char. I think I'm saying that right, Cher, Char. Let's look in their bio, live 2D at Swordfish. So Swordfish is the rigor of their model, not Ezzy Charm. They're not tagged in Char's bio. Let's scroll down a little bit more. Oh yeah, there's multiple offenses. I could, I could look this one up too, give you a sec. So that is actually a pre-made Etsy model from MT Infinity Inc. Snake Punk Boy Full Body VTuber Model. Yeah, this showcase they're showing? That is literally from this person's Etsy. Yeah, see, look, here they're showing Meriwether's model is like the most blatant, obvious one. There's a lot of VTubers on here. We have this one, my comms for booking a custom live 2D model. So book your slot now. Beautiful model, beautiful rig. I wonder who this could be. Maybe it's this VTuber called Miss Winter. Designed by AKA Raxi and model by Kumi Arts and rig by Kiro. Oh, I'm not going to say that right. Rig by Kiro Buya. This is Miss Winter. They are not rigged by Ezzy Charm. Their rigger is Kiro Buya. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm sorry. <laughs> and if you want to look it up yourself, it is so easy. Okay, here's what we do. You take your little snapshot tool. We take a snapshot of the model and then you save it. And then you go to Google image search and then we drag and drop. And let's see, what does it give me? Oh, hmm. Oh, wow. They are a rabbit VTuber. And let's see, their mama is Mitsuki and then their papa is Mak. Koto? I don't think I'm saying that right. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can go down the list. Every single one of these rigs are completely stolen. And here's a couple other ways you can tell. Look at the frequency they're updating. May 8th, rig. May 9th, new rig. May 10th, new rig. May 14th, new rig. Dude, rigging models takes forever. It literally takes like tens, hundreds of hours, depending on how complex the rig is. You're telling me that you're rigging models and like models on minimum probably take bare minimum 30 hours to rig, but you're turning rigs over within 24 hours when typically it would take at least 30 hours to get a rig. So this is assuming you're not even sleeping and you're working around the clock. You still wouldn't be able to get rigs out this quickly. And then the other weird thing too is they don't tag the VTuber. Riggers extensively tag the VTubers that they rig, that they are like the 
mama or papa for just because your rigor and you as a vtuber builds a really strong connection they essentially are your parent right because they brought you to life essentially so that connection is shown through tagging the vtuber over and over and over again and all the rigs and stuff like that so it is super sus that they literally never tag the vtuber in any of their rigs i could understand maybe a couple times a couple one or two vtubers maybe wouldn't want to tag because they wouldn't want people to see their model before their 2.0 debut but you're telling me every single VTuber here didn't want to tag? Or maybe it's because these are all like all stolen rigs. And again, the biggest thing is that they literally have no card, no VGen, no official website to commission them at, no official website with their information. It's just DM me, bro. This is really sus. I'm just saying VTuber is out here. Beware, beware of scams because there's so many artists that are out here trying to scam VTubers. Use these modes of caution when it comes to uh, looking at artists and recruiting artists, especially from Twitter. Try to commission them not through DMs, but commission them through a reputable website like VGen or Fiverr or something so that the website can kind of serve as a mediator for you. So if they don't deliver or something like that, you can still get your money back. Two, again, make sure they have a card some portfolio something website with their prices because they have none of these it looks really sus i could understand maybe if you're a brand new artist a brand new to rigging that you don't have a page with your prices yet but they have done allegedly hundreds of rigs so if you've done this many why don't you have any information about your pricing also frequency of posts most riggers they will update about the same model multiple 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 times to show the progress of creation. But you're telling me every single day it's a new post with a new model. So here's a rigger that I love. I just love their work. I think it looks really good. Let's look at them, okay? Their handle is Alk Anime. I think I'm saying that right. As you can see here, they have a link tree with the information. They have their Twitch link and I'm sure in the link tree, let me open it, right? We can contact them through Discord. They have a coffee you can commission. They have a commission info. So much information. They're showing updates, stuff like that. They're Nixie's rigger, right? They post so frequently about Nixie. Like all these like retweets, whatever posts, another post retweet about Nixie, Nixie retweets, retweets, showcasing other examples of Nixie still, right? So like if you're a rigger, you would post frequently about the VTubers you have rigged. You do so little of them. A rigger can only take on a couple models per month. You don't have enough models to be posting once a day, every single day as a new model because it's really time consuming to rig models. Clearly with Alk Animate, there's so many updates. You know, you can see, hey, here's a new update about some like new expressions I'm trying. Here we go. You can literally see them streaming the rig for Nixie. More posts about Nixie. Clearly they're very legit. I just wanted to show you them as an example of a legit rigger. Oh, I hope nobody falls for their scams because it's really sus. I actually DM them. So I'm curious if they're going to message me back. I DM them an hour ago. So I'll update you guys if they do respond.